What's happening, sports fans? We continue our uh, look around the county, talking to top recruits. We have Charlie Ree from St. Augustine on with us. Uh, this is a pleasure because Charlie is the most patient human being uh, of, of all times. I, I Look, I send out a lot of DMs, and I get names wrong, and I get times confused, and uh, one person has stayed patient through all that, and that is Charlie. Thank you so much for being on with us. Um, if you are still there, I noticed you haven't moved the whole time I've been doing this introduction. All right, he is still with oh, us. Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't I'm fix it. It's all good. Go. Um, it, we have you. We have you on for your baseball, not for your internet connection. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump straight <laughs> yeah. into that. Uh, you are committed to play at San Diego State. Let's talk about that decision. Why? Why SDSU? Uh, it was actually really easy for me. So, um, I mean, first off, who would want to leave San Diego? It's beautiful here. It's amazing here. Um, can't beat that. Uh, Tony Gwynn Stadium, beautiful stadium, amazing campus, everything like that. Um, another really important thing was uh, being comfortable with the coaching coaching staff. So I have a little brother of mine, basically, uh, Cade Martinez. His dad happens to be the head coach at State. And so he came to a lot of our games my junior year, got to see me play. And so I really felt co comfortable about the fact that he knows who I am as a player. And so on the visit, him and Coach Oliveira both made me feel very comfortable and like they knew who I was and what I can do. So you kind of went into the general process of recruiting with like SDSU was at the top of the list or was there something that moved it up the list to that number one spot um, for you? It, it moved up the list for me. At first, I was kind of going towards like Ivy League. I wanted to go there at first. And then once I got this opportunity, it was something like I can't pass this up. Like it's an amazing it's an amazing program. When you finally made that decision, I am, I'm, I'm looking right now at the moment of you with the whole family at the yeah. at Petco signing the letter. Um, was there a was there a moment where you where it all was just like all the emotions came to a head and it became real for you? Was it there signing the letter? Was it a phone call you made to the coach to say I'm in? What was there one real special moment along the process where it, it became real to you? Um, I think the day after the visit. Uh, when I called Coach Martinez and said I want to be an Aztec, that was like the best moment. Probably. Okay, so you talked to us about wanting to potentially go uh, Ivy League, mm -hmm. deciding on SDSU, but you know, to even be thinking Ivy League, you obviously have to have academics and yeah. athletics uh, balanced. Mm -hmm. So, you know, after four years of succeeding high school and surviving with with all of that intact, is there tips, guidance, pointers, anything that you would give to younger kids about how to I mean, just to handle all of that on their plate and still be able to, you know, get recruited and go through that whole process too? Mm -hmm. um, so I would just recommend having a great time management, organize yourself kind of a thing. Um, if you can just keep yourself organized, you can really just stay on top of everything you need to do. Now, are you physical plant, like physical planner organized? Are you all on your phone? Do you have um, an assistant that works for you uh, that is not named mom? <laughs> Yeah, so sometimes I write things down, like for these online classes, I've been writing stuff down because I'm getting a little lost sometimes, so I've been writing it down, keeps me organized, but I also, when some things pop up, I just type it into my reminders, tell me to remind me like a few days before, and then I'll just leave it up there, and they'll just tell me. I ask only because it still seems to not have quite jumped the gender gap, but a lot of the, the female student athletes will just, I mean, these things will be like color coded and like green will be practice, red will be homework. And I'm yet to meet the guy that has that, but I also, you know, like, I'm going to keep asking because we're going to find him. Mm -hmm. uh, probably someone that, that does go to the Ivy League schools, uh, like yeah. you had mentioned. <laughs> um, man, I just like, okay, so you are, I think, the third SDSU commit we've talked to in, in this season, and I, you know, like four or five uh, USD commits, and mm -hmm. there's some Cal State San Marcos mixed in there, and it, it's, it's amazing that the local schools are actually winning those recruiting battles. Mm -hmm. Was that part of the pro like was SDSU pitching you as stay local? We want to build a local team. Like was was there part of that element because it's not happening in football, it's not happening in basketball, but the local schools are staying local with with baseball talent. Um, I think a lot of it is like the guys coming together. So like we obviously have a lot of friends that play on other teams and then talking like that. And then also a big thing is like trying to bring home a national championship. You know, that'd be awesome to bring it, bring it home. That'd be great. Um, if you'll hold on just a second. <sighs> winning, winning one of these. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the goal. Yeah, that's yeah. what I want. 
Um, Except as in, uh, from first, Black. yes, uh, okay. I didn't get the chance to play there. I got the chance to play at this school, not not at your school. And play is yeah. generous for bench warmers. Uh, but yes, I can agree with you. Bringing one of those home is a huge motivation. Uh, kind of along that tangent, though, do you feel like you're really well prepared, if not more prepared, to make that jump up to college than people from other regions of the country, other towns, just because of how competitive San Diego baseball is? Yeah, I really do because, I mean, I play with a lot of these guys over the summer and they're all amazing players. They're all going to other great D1 programs, so the competition just, it's always there every single year. I know that they're your rivals, but it was, to me, it was almost comical that uh, Cathedral, I think it was a year or two, might have been two years ago, had something like 13 Division One commits in oh, their yeah. senior class. It, and that to me was like the... You, you don't even have that many kids on the field. Like it, it was the comically yeah, over. They were going D one on the bench. Yeah, it was it the was com- ridiculous. Like, it was yeah. the comic punchline of it, but it was the truth that you look past it and you're like, man, holy hell, some of these teams are deep. I mean, your catcher Angela Peraza was one of the USD yeah. commits that we're talking mm-hmm. to. Uh, Want to hit you with a couple of rapid fire baseball questions that I like to ask everybody. Don't mm-hmm. overthink these. Just give me your honest reactions. All right. Top three flavors of seeds. Uh, dill pickle, cracked pepper, and then chili lime. Oh, okay. I, dill pickle and cracked pepper, you had me one and two. I have not had the chili lime, but I like you going dill pickle numero uno. Um, yeah. Weirdest superstition you've ever seen from a teammate? Oh. I, I don't really know about that one. It can uh, even I, be a little one, thing. One Just, I had, yeah. One I had was, uh, like, after we would stretch, uh, a good friend of mine, JT Penick, uh, outfielder for Saints. Yeah, a friend of the show. Him. Yep. Um, so after he would stretch, I'd be on the ground and he would pick me up and I would he would like throw me up in the air. And I would do that before every single game. Do you have a video of this? No. This I needs not. to be something that there has dang it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there needed sorry. to be video. That's awesome. Uh well we'll 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 hit up JT, see if he can uh do yeah. some sort of reenactment of this uh <laughs> yeah. for us. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Um favorite uniform that you guys rock? Um, I like the purple jerseys with the purple and gold striped pants so not the camo ones i i mean i obviously i love the camos but you like, like them the, but they're not like your favorite them. yeah they're not my favorite yeah favorite uh favorite cele- favorite like style of baseball celebration are you the get to second and do one of these types of guys the chop you know the bat flip after the home run it doesn't necessarily be something that you would do personally but just something that you're like man i love seeing that every time it happens uh, the bat flip after the home run. I mean, there's nothing better than that. Seeing that is just great. Is there somebody in your in your memory that just comes to mind in terms of best bat flipper? As friends wise? No, no, no. Just in general that you've ever seen, like oh, pro well, baseball. I mean, you can't beat the uh, Jose Batista where he just pauses and chucks the bat after he hits the home run, and then kind of stares and talks yeah. into the dugout. I'll throw this out there. I know it's a tad bit. It's it's not just a tad, but it's comically before your generation because you probably played with his kid. But Brett Boone, have you seen his bat flips? No, I have not. Do you know uh, that his son played at Torrey Pines a few years ago? Did you overlap? Okay, so I don't, I don't know if you... I don't, oh, think, I don't think I did. Okay, so... Um, he would, I'll, I'll, I'll send you the clip. He would get to the, like, he'd keep the bat out in front of him and kind of flip it at the pitcher. Uh, just oh, the man. way this, his it's fault... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, and then the Mariners did a commercial for it um, that he was just flipping everything in his house. Like he'd get done with a yeah. with like a bowl of cereal and he'd flip his spoon. He'd get done with a phone. He'd fl- uh, yeah. So, but Jose Batista a close second in terms of the best overall ones. Yeah. Um, what have you been up to in your downtime? How how, uh, how does how does one pass the time after uh, going to a rigorous day of online school? Yeah. Well, so luckily I have brothers, so we've been playing a lot of video games. Uh, we've been playing a little bit of poker, uh, bottle cap baseball. So we've been throwing bottle caps at each other, hitting those. Um, what else? Bottle cap baseball. Uh, what kind of, what kind of bat do you use for that? Is that like a broomstick or, or, or how big is the bat for bottle cap baseball? Uh, we have this, we have this bat from when we were younger, where we had like tiny wiffle balls, but it's like this skinny, just metal rod bat. Basically it's super light. It's just hand eye coordination. That sounds hard as hell. It is pretty difficult, but. We manage. If gotta, we get to a point, a if we get to a point where we're just like the San Diego is starved for content, and we just haven't had sports, if this thing keeps going a couple more months, would you mind live streaming a game uh, of bottle cap baseball uh, <laughs> uh, with you sure, and your brothers? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. 
Deal. I would, I would do that. Yeah. Oh, oh, San Diego, yeah. we will hold him to that. If, <laughs> if, so far today, if times get desperate, we have had Anthony Mata from Grossmont promise us that he'll play pool with us. We had uh, Vinny Chat or Vinny or Luca Martinez. I apologize from San Marcos yesterday uh, is going to do a cooking show with us. Um, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel, so I respect yeah. you staying oh, busy yeah. while the rest of us yeah, are getting a little bored. For sure, do that. Uh, what what video games are we talking about? Call of Duty, 2K, uh, MLB The Show, a little bit of Madden, everything, a little bit of Fortnite. Are you willing to share the gamer tag? You want all the smoke, or is this just, are you more um, of the friendly recreational type? Yeah, I'll take the smoke. My gamer tag's Blue Wave 34. Xbox or PlayStation? Uh, I have both. So Xbox Same for both? Blue Wave 34, and then PlayStation is Blue Wave 01. All right, Blue Wave 01 is going to get a friend request from me for PlayStation, because we'll play some MLB The Show uh, in yeah, the near future. Sure. Real weird how if you were good at baseball in real life, you're not good at it in the show. It seems to be some sort of, I, I just don't get it. It's a hard and fast rule. The better you were yeah. in real life, the worse you are. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I, I don't know what an ER. I've never seen an ERA of just an infinity symbol. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it go, it, it's gotten bad. I've so many times as well, so. <laughs> Dude, like, like, yeah, one run games where you strike out 39 times. And you're like, there, there wasn't even that many at bats. How did I strike out that many times? Um. I feel like, you know, there, there's no there's no way getting around it that they're they're you know, all of our joking aside for the last twenty minutes. It, it, there's some sadness to all this. There's there's real emotions to senior years of of seasons getting canceled, of prom, of of graduate. Everything's up in the air. So as a high school senior, what have been your emotions? What's been on your mind? What's been on your heart the last couple of weeks? Um, it's been difficult. I mean, I know there's nothing we can do and it's all for the best, uh, best for everybody to stay home, stay safe. Um, something that's been kind of hard on me is that like, this was my last year to play with my brother and we were both starting the outfield. So it was great to do that for the six games we had, but I mean, I'm going to miss everything about saints, the brotherhood, everything like that. So let me ask you about the brotherhood. Cause we had, like I mentioned, your teammate, Angelo Peraz on here. We've also had Shibuzo Ogbo on here. Mm-hmm. Everybody agrees that the, like the brotherhood's like a, it's a real thing. So no, yeah. your insights on like what life's been like inside the pit, any fun, one specific story that tells that brotherhood analogy, like just any fun memories that you can share to us, not necessarily baseball related, but just sort of student activities, student body, going to sporting events, the pit, why anything in that, in that realm. Um, so recently, actually this year, I've had some great memories, uh, with the student section because we've actually done really well with the, like you guys talked about on Chibuzo's thing, the big, uh, picture of him. And then also, were you holding like, one? Of, please tell me you were holding one of those limbs. No, I was not, <laughs> unfortunately. But, um, and then also I like the curtain that we brought out this year. It was actually pretty funny. It was a fun experience. I was witness to the curtain at your game against Tory Pines. <laughs> yeah. And I'll admit, man. That that's, that's a that college was, level production. Funny. You got you yeah, guys. I would send you guys toe to toe with most college student sections. Um, <laughs> it, it was it was respectable. Yeah, uh, Mr. Osberg does a great job. Did you uh, were you any of the people ever revealed behind the the curtain? Or I'm getting no, the sense no, that I you're just more there to enjoy it and, and cheer. Yeah, I was just on the side cheering, just enjoying it, taking it all in. Holy war aside, and, and just kind of X out everything cathedral-related, because I know that you guys are next level about that, is there a favorite place to go cheer? Is there a favorite road game to be like, oh, we're going to take over that gym, and we are going to have some fun tonight? Ooh. Um, Torrey Pines, because we're, we're always pretty competitive with them in basketball, and then I don't think we've ever played them. I don't think we've played them in football, but basketball, those games are always really fun to cheer against. Yeah, that's a small gym, too, and it's all those yeah, old wood exactly. seats, so everything gets pretty decently loud and, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Let me close it out with this. You know, If you were back in a room right now with your team or with your student body, friend, like whatever, if, if you just had your group around you and you could say something to them, what would it be? Um, just thank you for all the memories. Uh, you guys are my brothers. Uh, just don't stop working. Keep working day in, day out, and go get that CIF. Charlie, thank you so much for being on with us. Folks, there are a ton of high school athletes right now that just they need your positive vibes. They need your well wishes. They need your good thoughts because their senior season came to an end very, very abruptly. Thankfully, though, you can still see him play baseball again next year because he'll be switching from purple and gold to red and black as we say go Aztecs and thank you for being on with us for this top recruit.